Hey, welcome to this short video where we're gonna be talking about great oil paint and what makes great oil paint. Why is this important? Because in my 20 years of experience and teaching hundreds of students oil painting, I could see the frustration in somebody's eyes when they have bad paint. And what I want for you is to have excellent paint at the lowest cost to save you time and frustration. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And by the end of this session, I'm also going to provide you a free gift. And that is also to prevent frustration. And it's called the Ultimate Guide to Oil Painting Supplies. So sit back, relax, and watch this really cool video <laughs> about the difference between good paint and bad paint. So for this part of the video, I actually purchased three paints that I don't typically have it in my studio. This first one is a Master's Touch. Yeah, as you can see there, it kind of irked me a little bit. There was a little bit of a stopper in it. And instead of stopping to go get something to unplug it, I just squirted it out and a big old log came out. <laughs> the next color that I purchased is a Windsor Newton. And this is a little bit higher quality. It's still not as expensive, but you can see that these two colors, they're supposed to be the exact same colors. They're French ultramarine blue. This third one that I purchased is a Grumbacher Academy, which is like a student grade version. It's also very inexpensive, but uh, again, the quality and consistency is a little bit different. And I'm gonna show you more about that in a second. The last product that I have is called Gamblin French Ultramarine Blue. And again, all of these are supposed to be French Ultramarine Blue. The qualities and the pigment and the linseed oil and the products that they used to combine them. I just kind of show a little bit about how these handle differently. All I have on my brush right now is some medium called Gamsol. And so I'm starting with the Gamblin product first. Now look, I haven't touched that pigment but once and it carries out that far. The next product that you're playing with there is that Grumbacher Academy. It's handling pretty well so I'm not too upset with that one and that surprisingly is an Academy brand. This one uh, is the Windsor Newton. Notice the pigment is going out a lot faster. You're going to have to get more pigment to get the same level quality. This last one, this Master's Touch, it's just handling horribly. <laughs> I mean, the color is not consistent all throughout my strokes and it gives out way too soon. So what that tells me is that it's gonna take me a lot more paint to use from that one than it is any of the other brands. In this next exercise, I actually took the same four colors. I'm gonna start with the Master's Touch. What I'm gonna do is actually pull it in with white, adding some opacity to kind of see how long it can last with the opacity. And I'm noticing like the consistency of the strokes and, and the color in the strokes. It's not quite the same. It didn't seem to last too long. The next one I'm gonna try is the Windsor Newton Artist Color. Same exercise, I'm just gonna grab some and about the same amount as I did with the first one and I'm just pulling it through, kind of seeing what and how long it'll last. Cleaning my brush and starting over with the Grumbacher Academy. Same exercise, pulling in some of the paint, just kind of feeling how it works. The color's a little bit richer. Notice how this, it's less translucent now that I've added the opacity, where the first two colors really didn't do that. So now I'm gonna try it with the product. Again, all of these are the same color, ultramarine blue, and they're selling them as ultramarine blue, but there's a significant difference in handle. Look at that, how that Gamblin product, it is so consistent. The color is so consistent throughout. Look how long that lasts. Hey, wasn't that pretty cool? Just seeing those four colors. Well, I wanted to thank you also for watching this video and I've got a little gift for you and it is free and it's all you have to do is leave a comment below to get it and that is the Ultimate Guide to Oil Painting Supplies ebook. And this ebook is 30 plus pages of 20 plus years of knowledge that I've gained for oil painting and kind of what to use, why to use it, even a cheat sheet about the mediums and why you use them and all that good stuff. So it is a chuck full of great information like this video and another video that I put out recently that tells you these tips that most artists don't know. <laughs> now you know. Here's the other thing I'd like for you to do. 
Imagine you know somebody else that doesn't know this information. Share this video with them. Tag them in this video so that they can have the knowledge. So that's it. Be sure to like, follow, share, comment, all that jazz. And until next time, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and happy creating.